Hi everyone, it's Cal. I hope you're all doing well and I'm glad to see you here. Today I wanted to describe to you one of the things that happened to me, which is um, I feel quite bizarre. Uh, after I had the Kundalini, it was a few years had gone by. I didn't even still know what the Kundalini was all about. I was in my massive amount of research trying to find out what had happened to me and why, uh, because I had no idea, no one to go to, and all the religious people I was writing letters to all over the globe uh, didn't know either. And that was a huge disappointment for me uh, because I was really looking for some kind of direction as to why is this happening to me? Now, uh, one of the things that occurred, and it's a little bit bizarre, was a situation um, that occurred about five years after I had the Kundalini. I was standing outside uh, with my tiny little rescue cat that I had rescued, and she is very delicate and um, very much afraid of everything. And I live... I live in an area where there is a very big mastiff. Um, and for those of you that don't know what a mastiff is, it is a very big dog. And this one was kind of like Cujo. And I mean, really like Cujo, my goodness. And it, But it was usually always locked in, but it was so savage and aggressive, I never went down that road. Um, I was walking in kind of my little backyard area with my cat. And we went out into a clearing where we were kind of in a, a grassy area with no trees and, and nothing the cat could climb up just out in this grassy area when out of nowhere, this Cujo dog appeared. For the first time in years, this dog had somehow gotten loose out of this fencing area. I mean, the dog was huge. You could see every muscle in this dog's body and he was savage and uh, growling teeth bared back and coming over to uh, attack my cat. Um, I had heard this growling, looked up and there he was and my cat was frozen in fear. In that split second, I knew I was going to sacrifice myself for this cat, hands down. And in that moment of, of sacrifice, something began to come over me. And this has never happened to me before. I've had a lot of very cosmic experience, but this has never happened. Uh, I made the decision of the sacrifice. That's it. I saw the dog. She couldn't get away. She couldn't run anywhere. There was nowhere to run um, to go up or to hide under anything. There was just no chance. And he was too close to her. He had been um, off to the side. For some reason, we didn't see him because he had never been out. We didn't expect it. We had never um, had to fear this savage animal before. In the moment that I... Um, made the decision to sacrifice, something began to come over me. And to this day, it even sounds bizarre speaking about it. I started a low growl and the dog's attention went off the cat and onto me and sort of staring at me incredulously. And remember the dog was huge. I am not as huge as this dog. And I started to growl in a very menacing way. And then I started to crouch down towards the ground and I was becoming animal. I was so savage. I could feel I was seething on the inside. This whole animalistic thing came over me. And to this day, I don't know why. And I was thinking of killing this dog through biting him. I mean, he had massive teeth and I just have my little teeth, but this is all I could think about. I was staring at this dog and I was thinking how juicy he was gonna be when I bit into his neck and ripped his flesh apart. 
And the thoughts that were going through my head took over my entire being. And it was completely not me. It was something else that was inside of me. And I could feel this force. This force was massive and it was savage, savage. And I couldn't wait to bite into the dog. And I was down, crouched down, and I was growling, and I was inching towards him. And he was standing there, still staring at me incredulously. And then he started uh, crouching down menacingly and inching towards me. And as I was moving towards him, all these thoughts of consuming him and how I was going to tear him apart and rip his flesh uh, into pieces, was dominating my mind. Uh, Kelly was gone and this animal was in Kelly. And he was growling and he wasn't stopping. He was coming towards me and I had no fear. I had absolutely no fear. All I could think about was how I was going to eat him. And he kept coming towards me and we were as we came toward each other, I was not going to back down. I kept thinking how juicy he was going to taste as I ripped the flesh out of his neck. And as I was just coming within a, a foot and a half of him, we were getting so close and I was so anticipating this meal. He turned around, yelped like a very frightened little puppy and ran away with his tail between his legs. Cujo did this. And the first thought that came to my mind was, that's a shame, there goes dinner. And just so you know, I'm vegetarian. I have been since I was 11 years old. I'm not interested in eating meat at all. Um, and then after he left, over a period of, oh, let's just say, maybe 60 seconds, I returned to myself. This being that was inside of me left and I returned to Kelly. And I stood there incredulously. I couldn't believe what had happened. I mean, that dog is the most frightening black dog on the planet as far as I'm concerned. And I looked over at my cat. She was still standing in the same spot, staring at me incredulously. <laughs> and then we went home. Uh, but that day and that experience, I couldn't make sense of for many, many years. In fact, I don't know if I ever really did make sense of it. Um, and of course, this is the first time I'm sharing it with you. Um, and even when I was going towards the dog, my saliva glands were just producing so much saliva in the mouth as I was anticipating eating this dog. I mean, horrendous. So I'm not sure what happened that day. That was the feminine force taking me over. That much I know. I think part of it was um, the sacrifice. When you sacrifice, something else happens. Uh, and I also believe that it was the Kundalini because my connection to her is so strong. And that's what happens when you do the Kundalini. Your connection to the feminine force becomes incredible. You're always connected to her, but the bond is stronger, bigger, wider, thicker. You are hers and she is yours. And she is a mother willing to kill for you. She is savagely protecting her child at all costs. And that's what happens with the Kundalini. You get this protection. So um, I wanted to share with you this bizarre thing that happened to me many years ago that I will never forget. Um, that I've gone over many, many times in my mind wondering what, what happened there. Uh, because that demonstrates uh, the strength of the bond between you and this force that I uh, archetypally um, call feminine. All right, so thanks for watching.
Uh, I hope you got something out of this video and take care. I'll see you on the next one.